Men have become like women and women have become like men. We got no spy. We don't want to say they're different. We don't want to say things were made this way and things were not made this way. We don't want to do that anymore. Very soon we're going to see this culture turn into exactly what we saw in the book of Genesis, Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why the Bible says there's going to be a judgment of fire on those days. A judgment of fire. It's going to burn everything that's worth burning. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Everybody just wants to be the same. And we live in a culture where we started to believe that every path is the same. Let's not discriminate. Let's not say this is wrong, this is right. Because the moment you say you're wrong, you're saying you're right. And we can't say you're right. Who knows who's right? This is Canadian culture. Spineless. You can't have a spine unless you know you're right and somebody's wrong. You can't have a spine unless you have something that's different. And I'm here to tell you today that the Word of God is different. It's different from the ways of the devil. The Spirit of the Lord is different from the Spirit of the devil. The Spirit of the Lord, the life of the Lord is different from the death that comes from the devil. The Bible says the enemy comes to kill to steal and to destroy but Jesus Christ said I've come that you might have life and have it in abundance life is different from death so we're living in a culture that's afraid afraid to step out afraid to be different afraid to say the truth we don't want to be canceled on Facebook we don't want to be canceled on Twitter or Instagram so we silence our mouth we zip it we see some weird stuff walking around young and dundas, but because we don't want to offend, we pretend that we're all okay. Next you know, our kids grow up in an environment that we don't like, but we say nothing. We sacrifice the kids on the altar of secularism. We sacrifice our kids on the altar of paganism. All because we have no spine. Men have become like women and women have become like men. We got no spy. We don't want to say they're different. We don't want to say things were made this way and things were not made this way. We don't want to do that anymore. We think we've evolved. We think we're better than that. And now the United States is finally at this point in history changing the passport system. Instead of male and female, they're adding a gender neutral category to passports. How are you going to identify someone walking across the line into the border with a neutral passport? How are you going to separate a person from going into the male bathroom and the women bathroom with a neutral passport? Very soon we're going to see this culture turn into exactly what we saw in the book of Genesis, Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why the Bible says there's going to be a judgment of fire on those days. A judgment of fire. It's going to burn everything that's worth burning. All the shaft, all the things that are dry. Do you know what gets burned by fire? Things that are dry get burned by fire. Do you know your skin gets dry when there is no water? Do you know that your body turns to dust when there is no life? You see, when you got water in your body, you can't burn as easily. But when you have water on paper, it won't burn as easily. This is why we need life. This is why we need the Word of God. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty.